today we are going to be learning about praise. And the title is Praising into Your Testimony. Sema Amen. Kusifu. Nita kufundisha vitu. I want to teach you things. I want to teach you things that, uh, that will make you stop fearing witches and wizards from today. In Jesus Christ's name. I want to teach you things that will make you stop fearing the enemy. In Jesus Christ's name. I want to teach you praying against your enemy because the Lord is the God of vengeance in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. I'm teaching you things that if you learn to use them, usichukotu ni kama ni ibada, utajishanga. Na we mwenyewe utashanga. God is good. When Jesus says yes, when Jesus says yes, nobody can Jesus says be blessed. Nobody can say no. When Jesus says it's your time. Nobody can say no. Nobody, nobody can say no. Can I tell you what happened now? Mia was dancing at home. When God was giving me, I was already, I was working on this message. Then I stopped and I started to dance. Hallelujah. When Jesus says yes. And I was dancing. I was just dancing in the house. I was dancing. When I stopped dancing now and I pick my phone, I found that I've sent, my mess, I've sent myself money from the US. Let me tell you the truth. Until yesterday, if you told me about miracle money, I'd rebuke you. But please, go forgive me. <laughs> God forgive me. It may not come to your phone like this one. This is the second time. The first time I was living there between the, in the valley of the shadow of death, between Kawangwara and Kangemi, and there was nothing at all at all. And a message just came to the phone, you have received so, so amount of money. No sender, no number, nothing. And the balance was there. So this time it happens this way. You know, profit is not in anybody's ID. Eh? If you send me, it will bring you Alan. Profit is not a, but now how do you receive money from, from Prophet Jomba? In the US. <laughs> it's Osana, Osana season, say my amen. It is Osana season, say my amen. During this season, we praise the Lord. And even if it takes you picking money from the ground to pay your bills, it will happen in Jesus' name. Osana season, it is a time that God has determined that he will save you. Even if it takes the king lacking sleep, like the days of Mordecai, it shall happen in Jesus' name. It is a miraculous season. God wants people in his presence. God wants people glorifying him in Jesus Christ's name. Are you happy? Are you ready? Are you ready? God is good. Let me just give you a point that was not supposed to start. It is supposed to be the end so that we may at least be at the same level. When I was in high school, the day I was told to conduct the choir, yeah? <laughs> so, <laughs> we bless the Lord. God is good. You know my sister Maureen, who the, the biggest, second biggest or person in this church has been to the National Music Festival five times in her life. She went five times. <laughs> God is good. I said I wanted to read to you something. Hallelujah. Satan, this is at the end there, but let me just read it to set you at a good place. Satan brings up things that resonate with sense to kill our praise. Satan brings up things that resonate with our senses to kill our praise. You see, the depression, depression comes in the absence of laughter and joy. 
So when the devil does not want you to praise or get into a, or does not want you to get into an attitude of praise, what he will do, he will start to bring your situation. Your situation. How can you praise God and you didn't have supper yesterday? How can you praise God and you don't know where you'll get trend? How can you praise God when things are going the way they are going in your life? But I tell you, we start from that book of Psalms chapter 22 and verse 3. Psalms chapter 22 and verse 3. We start our message praising to my testimony. I've never taught this one as an independent subject, so listen very, very well. Praise. I hope we will have this message even in our concerts. Hallelujah. Psalms 22 verse 3. If you are there, give me an amen. amen. Can we read together? You are holy, but you are holy. I don't know what you are saying. Let us just read together. But you are holy. Where are you reading? But you are holy, enthroned in the praises of Israel. Say my amen. amen. There are versions that say that he dwells in the places of his people Israel. You dwell, you are enthroned in the praises of Israel. I said to you that I will teach you things today that if you are able to take care of your heart and use, you will become more dangerous than the witch doctor that you fear more dangerous than the enemy that rises against you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You see, I've told you that I was praising, and I was praising when I stopped and take my phone. I found that I've sent myself money. I came and asked Bramwell, what could have happened here? And he said that maybe you went to U.S. like Philip, sent yourself money and came back. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You see, you are God. You are holy. You are enthroned in the praises of your people, Israel. Unaka katika sifa za watu wako. Unaka katika sifa za watu wako. I mentioned it a few weeks ago that when uh, Bishop Oedepo was, uh, I don't know, he was with Kenneth Hagin, and they asked him, You say that we taught you faith. You have more people in your church than us. And we able to answer that you taught me everything except praise. Now those people you see, I've praised, I've praised God for each one of them to take their seats. Hallelujah. He was given the foundation, then he learned the power of praise by himself. And the results were evident. We learned the power of praise. And I pray that God gives us an atmosphere that will really put this thing into us in Jesus Christ's name. So the, the Definition of praise. So praise, uh, the primary definition on Sunday faith is to express one's respect and gratitude towards a deity. That is God. Express one's respect and gratitude towards a deity. That is God, especially in song. To express one's respect and gratitude. Towards a deity that is God, especially in a song. Say my amen. Hallelujah. And I'll just give you a few points, even as we go on, and I will expound where necessary. Hallelujah. Thanksgiving, this is where you appreciate God for what he has done. But praise, you appreciate God for who he is. I say thanksgiving, you appreciate God for what he has done in thanksgiving. But in praise, you appreciate him for who he, he is. And that is where lies the power. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You appreciate God for who he is. 
and there lies the power. Praise is an instrument of warfare. It is an instrument of warfare. You are blessing God in advance. You are blessing God in advance. Not for what he has done, not for what you want him to do, but simply because he is God. You don't, he does not, your praise should not be determined by your condition. You should just praise God because he is God and he's alive. He's your creator, your maker, your sustainer on this earth. He is God. Say, he is God. Hallelujah. Praise before manifestation, that is before blessing. Praise before manifestation, that is before blessing, is called perfected praise. Or praise with understanding. God is good. Let us just look at one scripture again. Psalms 67 verse 5. Psalm 67 verse 5. Psalm 67 and verse 5. Psalm 67 verse 5. Psalm 67, verse 5. If you are there, give me an amen. You are there? It says, may the people praise you. Does your say that? Okay, I read. May the people praise you, O God. May all the people praise you. The land will yield its harvest. Our God will bless us. God will bless us and the end of the earth will Have you heard that? Hallelujah. May the people praise you, O God. May all the people praise you. Then the land will yield its harvest. Praise God and your business will yield its harvest. Praise God. Hallelujah. And your job will grow, will grow. You will be promoted. Praise God and the works of your hands shall be blessed. Then the land will yield its harvest. And God, our God, will bless us. God will bless us and the ends of the earth will fear him. Hallelujah. So go back to Psalms 56. Verse 4. Rudy to Psalms 56. Psalms 56. Psalms 56, we read verse 3 and 4 and then verse 10. Are you there? Psalms 56, we read verse 4. When I am afraid, I will trust you. In God whose word I praise. When I'm afraid, I trust in God whose word I praise. In God I trust, I will not be afraid. What can mortal man do to me? Because I do what? Because I praise God. Declare what can mortal man do to me? I am a praiser of God. Those witches, what can they do to you when you're a praiser of God? Hallelujah. What can a witch do to you when you are a praiser of God? And the Bible has told us in that Psalm 22 that when you praise God, he comes and takes his seat amongst you. What can mortal man do to you? Verse 10. In God whose words I praise. In God whose word I praise. Hallelujah. In God I trust. I will read. What can mortal man do to me? Say my amen. God is good. Now, 
the foundation of this one now I begin to talk praise should come from your heart just as worship and prayer praise should come from gonga jirani yako mwambie praise should come from your heart just as worship and prayer praise should come from your hallelujah so unaanza kukufunza sasa we plead for interventions in prayer we plead for interventions by prayer but we invoke divine intervention by praise just write it then i explain it to you we plead for interventions in prayer but we invoke divine intervention by praise we plead in prayer we invoke by praise god is good now are you with me now i want you to understand this point okay or can i finish pleading may take time but invocation works instantly pleading may take time that is prayer pleading in prayer may take time but invocation works instantly blessed be the name of the lord now these are spiritual a few spiritual tools that are there for instant manifestation of god's power the bible says you lay hand on the sick and people get healed sendio you lay hands on the sick and people get healed okay so i can release like an invocation of healing by simply laying hands i can release manifestation of healing by laying hands god is good the bible says that you will cast out demons casting demons is this is a now thing nisahi demon we don't cast it and say demon i send you in 7 days please go away demon a demon fighting activity is now sendio it is now i command you live in jesus name the results may be seen tomorrow or one week later or one month later that you are free okay you may be delivered now and from the spiritual husband but you will not get a husband maybe now but because you are now free men start to ask you then 3 4 months later you have somebody serious now to marry you because the demon has gone hallelujah but the demon fighting demons this is an instant thing an instant reaction instant activity now pleading hallelujah when we are in prayer i can be asking god for his mercy to fight for me and i can go the way of pleading god you're my father you are my protector i pray protect me protect my children protect me hallelujah hallelujah god let your presence be with me be with my children you know that is one way but when you know the secret that is in is in praise praise from your heart brings god to the sin instantly Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise is so powerful it broke the prison doors for Paul and Silas. Praise is so powerful when the children of Israel used praise. There are battles that <laughs> there are battles that when the children of Israel decided to praise God, the enemy turned on themselves and killed each other. And the Bible says that Jehoshaphat only took sent his people to take plunder. Maadi waligeukiana they were praising somewhere Hallelujah God is good they were praising somewhere and the enemy wakakosana katikati yao you see the, you know the bible does, tells us not to tells us not to pray against our enemy the bible in fact tells us do not rejoice when something bad happens to somebody but you see sometimes they can make you afraid let me tell you when you start to praise and the presence of god comes the lord will slap your enemy without you calling their name or asking for to fight you say my amen when the presence of god comes in the form of praise yesu anaweza yesu anaweza una yesu anaweza hallelujah when you are threatened tell your neighbor you are threatened you are threatened somebody is threatening you i'll do this to you i will show you who i am i will show you what i can do to you i can show you hey hey 
Just go and tell the Lord, God, you are my God. You alone are God over my life. And said, you are the Lord. Great is your name. You glory with it. And say, God, shall anybody else take glory in my life except you? Who will make me afraid when I'm a praise of God? Who will make me afraid? The Bible says they will rise in one direction. They will scatter in seven. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You may plead, it may take time. But when you praise, praise works instantly. Praise works instantly. And I tell you, I've talked about perfected praise. This is not a thanksgiving. This is where your condition does not look like praise. But you decide that God, my Father, my Maker, instead of crying and lamenting, let me praise you for your goodness. Let me praise you for your goodness. And you start to praise God. Hallelujah. You start to praise God. Tutazunguka, zunguka kwenye. You are in pain. By the eye of men, you are in defeat. The Bible says that God inhibits the praise of his people. And you know, the Bible says that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. When you start to praise God and the situation does not look like praise, utashanga kile mungu anaweza kufanyia. Blessed be the name of the Father. They threaten you. When man raises himself, praise the God who created every man. When God raises himself against you, when, when, when man raises himself against you, when they, they threaten you because of their ability, they have money, they have connection, they have things that they can do, praise the God who gives breath to man. Blessed be the name of the Father. Blessed be the name of the Father. If the Bible says that God inhibits the praise of his people, your business is failing, blessed be the name of the Lord. Turn that place into a place of worship. In Giapo, worship the Lord. Wake up, Gata Moses. 50 minutes of power praise. Sing along. When nobody is even looking at you, dance small with your bad dancing style that you cannot dance in public. Dance small. You will feel the presence of God that is starting to come. There's a presence that was, I came with the presence of God. There's something that is happening to me now. I bless the name of the Father. When you start to praise Him, can I tell you this one secret? In every situation you find yourself, there is what certain hopes you will do. In every situation, there is what certain hopes you will do. And there is what God expects you to do as a child of God. T.B. Joshua used to say, when Satan expects you to cry, but you instead laugh, you have overcome him. When Satan expects you to go into depression, remember when I was starting, I told you that Satan releases things that go with the sense to kill our praise. When Satan expects you to shikatama, to catch your thumb, he expects you to be down, defeated, but instead you say, my God is alive. If this situation has come to me, Mungu aliona, the devil, the Lord saw it coming, the Lord allowed it for a reason. It shall not put me down. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. When a situation comes, there is what Satan is hoping. You, you remember the story of Job? When the devil went to God, he tells God, Remove the blessings of Job and Job will curse you. He was hoping that Job would curse God. But Job stands and declares, shall I only praise God in good and not bad situations? And the Bible says that he did not sin with the words that came from his mouth. When the devil expects you to be down, all heaven is looking at you. The angels are looking at you. And if you go down, they say, oh, we understand, there's a lot of pain. We, the, the heaven can say we understand 
you are passing through a lot, we understand. But let me tell you, if instead of going down, you can look for a praise music, a praise song, and start to sing it, and remember where God has taken you from, and remember that he's God, the same one, who broke, hallelujah, who split the Red Sea, you remember it is him, and you finish by telling him, God, even in this situation, you are still God. God, people have been in this situation, and they have been saved. God, people have gone through worse, and they have been saved. In the midst of praise, let me tell you, that situation will not last long. The Bible says that the devil tempted Jesus. When Jesus was unresponsive, the Bible says that the devil left him until an opportune time. The devil will not completely go, but he will leave you. He will come again to test you at a particular time. When he expects you to cry, to lament, to hide yourself under the blanket, but instead you're praising, you have defeated him. He will leave you and look for something else. Say my perfected praise. Ask your neighbor, are you a praiser of God? Are you a praiser of God? Are you a praiser of God? Hallelujah. Psalms 100 verse 5 says, He is God. You can just write it. You'll read it alone uh, in your time. The Lord is good and his mercies endures. You are God and your mercies forever. tell you some things. Eh? Let me say, let me take you back to the realm of man. You're a parent by God's grace. Hallelujah. And let's say you don't have school fees for your child. You don't have school fees for your child and you're sitting down. You say, my daughter, sit down. I will pay that school fees when God opens the door and I get money. That is a human example. Then let's say your child comes to you and hugs you and says, mommy, I know you are trying. Mommy, I know you try. When she comes and she's still in appreciation. Hallelujah. But if the reaction, if her reaction or his reaction is, Mom, everybody's in school. Did you give birth to me if you cannot take care of me? You say, eh. You understand? I want to bring you to your praise now. The power of it. But you go back, you go to mommy and say, Mommy, I'll just work hard when I'm here. When you get school fees, I will go. I'll make sure I don't fail. I'll study. At least you bought me books. God is good. You see, you, the effort you put towards that child will be different. That is just how praise works. When the devil expects you to lament and to speak negativity, but to say, my God, let me praise you. Hallelujah. Muamba, muamba. Mwamba, 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 yes, me, mwamba, 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 yes, me, mwamba, 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 Situation is bad. Situation is pressing you on all sides. But you can still stand up and call him Mwamba. 
He's the rock, unbreakable rock. He's the rock. Nobody can win a contest against him. He is the rock. When he says wilderness is over, you are getting to the promised land, nobody can reverse that word. Yes. Nobody can change the word that he has spoken. Yes. When he has called you a millionaire, even if you have slept hungry, that word will come to pass in Jesus' name. Yes. Because nobody can contest his word. Yes. Hallelujah. When he says that you will go to the nations, it does not matter even if you don't have a smartphone. When he says it is the nations, when the time is right, he will make things happen in Jesus' name. He will make it happen in Jesus' name. So I praise him to maintain his presence in my life. The devil wants me to ask questions. The devil wants me to blame witches. Are witches greater than God? When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. Hallelujah. When the time is right, he will make it happen. In Jesus Christ's name. So I am a child of God. Are you a child of God? It does not matter what I'm going through. Does not matter the situation that men are seeing. Does not matter that they are questioning my God. I'm praising God into my testimony. In Jesus' name. I say I'm praising God to my testimony. In Jesus' name. I'm praising God to my testimony. In Jesus' name. I'm praising him to my testimony in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The word that he has spoken will come to pass in Jesus' name. Tell your neighbor the word that he has spoken. The word that he has spoken. It shall come to pass. Tell your neighbor, praise him in advance. Praise him in advance. Don't wait to see. Hallelujah. Tell him praise until you see. Tell him, don't wait to see. Praise until you see. I don't care what has not happened. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Nisi has done me well. I don't care what I'm going through. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah, Jehovah Nisi has done me well. You see, we have seen chains break. We have seen, in the Bible we have read, I've read your message here. I've read your message, then you can verify it. If you want, you can come and show you if it will help your faith. I just paid 10,000 to that guy who repaired sound, and I told God, my sound, I will not spend money repairing sound. I had just paid that, that day, no, guy. I paid him 10,000 because there was something that happened to the sound two weeks ago. I said, God, uh. then I stand to praise, and God refunded that money. Mm -hmm. Say my amen. amen. It may have already happened. It can be reversed in Jesus' name. Amen. It can be reversed in Jesus' name. Amen. I, can, do you, can, can you praise God in advance, small? Yes. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. <laughs> Jehovah Nisi has done me well. I don't care what is happening. He has done me well. He has done me well. He has done me well. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is called perfected praise. Say my perfected praise. Not because God has done it, but because he's God. Not because my doors have opened, but I serve a living God who is able to open the door at any time. Amen. Hallelujah. I praise him, not led by my situation, but led by, by my conviction. He is God. Amen. Declare he is God. He is God. Declare he is, he is God. And I tell you, we are here. And I assure you, I may not even touch you today, but if you are getting what we are saying, Utanza Kuski will things happening from where you were born. Straight from the village in Jesus' name. Straight from the village in Jesus' name. Straight from the village in Jesus' name. You see, when the Bible says that you will be blessed in the city and you will be blessed in the country, the Lord knows you. He knows where you are. He knows everything that is yours. That home has been suffering that sickness, that, that, that rejection. Those bad things have been happening because we have been looking for every solution except praising God. And the Bible says that when we praise him, he takes over. When we praise him, he takes over. When we praise him, he takes over. Hallelujah. It means I can praise God and I see myself in my father's compound. I am there by, by, by faith. I'm there in the spirit. Those demons, that thing in Chimbua, whatever they dug, that witchcraft, it will be exposed, it will come to the ground. And they will burn it in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you have watched movies of witches and wizards, have you noticed that in those movies they will sing, they must sing something? They must chant something. The devil never created anything. He turns around what God created. And he uses it. Since you do not know how to praise, they will praise their ojoku, their things there. Na 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 na. They invoke, they invoke, they invoke, they invoke. You can revise it by praising the Lord of Israel. You can reverse it by praising the Lord of Israel. In Jesus Christ's name. Can I just tell you a few things that, let us read according to the scripture, a few points, a few things that, that praise will do for your life. First of all, let me say, let us start by a negative point. Get this one, it is very important for you. While complaints appeal to man's compassion, it turns God's back on you. There's somebody who has been praying and your prayers are full of complaint. I want you to understand this point. I'm going to, we are going to read the scripture. Numbers chapter 11 verse 1. You can just write it, then I read for us to skip a moja. While complaint appeal to man's compassion, it turns God's back on you. Numbers chapter 11 verse 1 says this. Now the people complained about their hardship in the hearing of God. And when he heard them, his anger was aroused. They are God's people. They are the Israelites being led from Egypt. But complaint, that's the example that I gave you about your child here. Turned God against them. If you want to live a victorious life, get yourself away from complaining and whining before the Lord. Why me of this situation? Why am I here? God, I tithe. God, I do this. God, I do this. God, I do this. Those things turn the back of God to you. Not the face, the back of God will be turned to you. Never be a complainer. If you want to move, no matter how special you feel you are before God, no matter how hard you feel you have worked for God, don't be a complainer to God. Hallelujah. I read again Numbers 11 verse 1. Now the people complained about their hardship in the hearing of God, and when he had, their, and when he had them, his anger was aroused. Here. The, then fire from the Lord burned among them and consumed some who were on the outskirts of the camp. When the people cried out to Moses, he prayed and the fire died down, so that that place was called Tabera. Hallelujah. Complain will bring the compassion of men. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Akis, you have gone through a lot. That will touch men when you complain, when you cry. But that does not touch God. It does not activate anything in the spiritual realm for you except maybe bad things. Amen? Now, I want to start 
taking you into those things I told you make you greater than a witch. You defeat them in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Number one, what happens when you praise? Number one, God takes over our battles when we praise. God takes over our battles when we praise. Say my amen. God takes over our battles when we praise. Hallelujah. And a beautiful point here. Praise with you a spectator in your own battle. Yay! Yay! <laughs> praise makes you a spectator in your own battle. Vita ni viyako lakini wana jiangalilia vile kuna pigano. You just stand as a spectator. Hallelujah. Then let us go, let, let us go to 2 Chronicles chapter 20. This one let us get it. You mark it. You mark it well, well. 2 Chronicles chapter 20. And verse 12. 2 Chronicles chapter 20. And verse 12. 2 Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 12. Can I read for you? You have gotten it. Let us read together. Let, let me read it as you read your own. Oh God, will you not judge them? For we have no power to face this vast enemy. This is King Jehoshaphat. The army is too great. The enemy is too great for you. The qualities of the army. Oh, you are like David in the presence of Goliath. Wame kuzidi, wame kushinda. Hallelujah. This uh, vast army that is attacking us, we do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Sema, my eyes are on you. You see, that is where your eyes need to remain, no matter how bad the situation is. That is where your eyes need to remain, on God, no matter how tempting the situation is. Macho yako ya baki kwa bwana. jirani macho yako ya baki kwa bwana. Your eyes to remain on the Lord, no matter how bad it gets. Your eyes to remain on the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 13. All the men of Judah, with their wives and children and little ones, stood there before the Lord. Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jehaziel, son of Zachariah, the son of Benaiah, the son of Jael, the son of Mataniah, a Levite and descendant of Asaph. And he stood in the assembly. Verse 15. He said, Listen, King Jehoshaphat, and those who live in, in Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army. The battle is not yours, but the Lord's. Say my amen. You see, you are afraid. You are afraid. Then God speaks a word in your fear that does not look like your situation. The army is too vast for you, but the Lord says do not be afraid of them. Your business is going down. The Lord says it shall not go down. It shall revive. Because the Lord is a living God. The Lord speaks something contrary. Let us go to verse 21. The same place, verse 21. The Bible says this. After consulting the people, Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing to the Lord and to praise him for the splendor of his holiness. And they went out ahead of the army saying, Give thanks to the Lord for his love endures forever. Hallelujah. Verse 22, what does the Bible say? As they began to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount Se, who were invading Judah, and they were defeated. Nasi you say, Amen. Nasi you say, Amen. amen. The Lord said, You know, they were together. The people of Ammon, the Moabites, they were together. And they were coming to fight Israel. But you see, when Jehoshaphat looks at the army, they are too big for us to approach with sword and spear. And the Bible says that Jehoshaphat chose men. Daudi wa unaimba. Hallelujah. You are all men now. Okay. Esther unaimba. Mama jomba unaimba. You go ahead of us. We are coming behind you. And you are good and your mercy is forever. You are good. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. And you see, as they begin to this, sing this song, the Bible says that the Lord inhibits the praise of his people. The army is too great. But the Lord, they're telling God, we glorify you. Your mercies endure forever. And the Lord comes. And you see, three nations have gathered to fight Israel. Nakitu kinafanyika. You see, I'm from a different place. Hallelujah. I want to use an, a name that is not very, very bad. Let me say I'm from Wanga's place. Let me not call General. And she is from Kalonzo's place. But we have gathered together to beat this one who comes from... Uh, uh, I've forgotten the people from that place. <laughs> Our fighter people. So you see, we have come together to fight. You see, the Israel is praising where they are. But we are here to tam komesha. Sindio, na mama na kubali. Weo kona bunduki, mi ni kona panga. Na ni kona kili, ni kona pesa pia. You see, they are planning against you. Na say, mi na mjua, I know the enemy. Na mjua, I know his tactics. I know. Somebody should be prepared there to sing us what the Israelites are singing there. To help us in this case. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. So we are planning. You sing now. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Hey, you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you see, when we are continuing to plan, you know where he passes. You know where the wife's business is. We will show him. And we are planning here. But you see, Israel is worshipping. And the Bible says that God inhibits the praise of his people. What happened in this scripture, something happens between us. I step on her, maybe, by mistake. I know she's the owner of the gun. <laughs> I step on her and say, eh, na unakuanga na madharao. Hallelujah. And as you And I raise my panga. And she raises her gun. And douche. You see, Israel is there. Their own is your good and your mercy is forever. They are praising the Lord. And the Lord is working for them. They are praising the Lord. You know, they are there. Maybe they are freed. They're saying three nations. Against us, Kasisi, Tusisi. But you see, when the Lord is amongst you, the Lord says that these are my children praising me. The praise from their heart is reaching me. I'm enjoying their praise. I'm enjoying what they are telling me. That I am good and my mercy endure forever. And they said, you will not fight my people. And an angel will be sent and cause commotion amongst you. And the enemy destroys himself. You don't need to mention the enemy in your prayer. Praise God. Praise God. You don't need to mention the enemy in your prayer. Praise the master. Amen. Hallelujah. They are fighting whatever weapon they have laid before you. He has given me victory. I will lift him higher. Jehovah I will lift him higher. He has given me victory. Wait a bit. I want to do, let, let us join. I know there's something that you are going through. I know there's a situation that looks too big. I know there's some money you need that in the natural you cannot get. It's the God of Israel who is amongst us. Can we sing this song with understanding? Can we do some perfected praise? He has given me victory. He has given me victory. I will lift him higher.
declare, Lord, I lift you high. Does not matter what I see. You are God and I lift you higher. Hallelujah. Wanakwambia wameenda Subawanga. They tell you they have gone to Subawanga. They told you that they tell you that that new witch from Nigeria that is where they have gone. This regard. You see, when you have this understanding, you will not even send text to man of God. Man of God nimeambia wameenda kuroga. No. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Mwambie farao nimeogoka sitarudi tena Misri na Egypt Mwambie farao Mwambie farao nimeogoka sitarudi tena Misri na Egypt Tunaenda kana na tunaenda kana na tunaenda kana na tutarudi tena Misri tunaenda Hallelujah. I was in Egypt before. I'm now called a child of God. You will not threaten me with Egypt. My direction is Canaan. In Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. I was in Egypt before. But I'm now a child of God. The Lord has heard my cry. The Lord has sent Moses to me. We are going to Canaan. We are going to Canaan. We are going to Canaan. Hallelujah. At Wamenda Wapi. I do not care where they've gone. I know where I'm going. I do not care where they've gone. I know where I'm going. Najua Kulenaenda. Hallelujah. 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 Get a song. Get into praise. Get into praise. At the end of it, tell God, I will glorify you at the end of this. They will know my God. In Jesus' name. Amen. I always say that Christianity is not a weakness religion. It is, tell your neighbor, it is not a weakness religion. Hallelujah. We have God. We have God. When the presence of God comes, oh Jesus, God is good. You see, you read for yourself Acts chapter 16, verse 24. Acts chapter 16 and verse 24. You read it going down. You read the scripture that is there. And this one, I talk about Paul and Silas. In point number two, this is point number two, praise does, hallelujah. Sema, it shakes foundations and breaks chains. It shakes foundations and breaks chains. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, when you do not even know what to use to justify your faith, use the word of God. Tell God we have an altar that is speaking over us. This altar, we do not know where it came from. Hallelujah. I do not know where these chains came from, but God, they are chains of our life. And say, God, as I give, I will praise you. As I pray, my God, I will praise you. Hallelujah. I will praise you. God is good. I do not know the source of these chains, but I know they are chains. I do not know the foundation of this diabetes that killed my great-grandmother, my grandmother, my aunties. I do not know because God, I was not there, but I will praise you. Hallelujah. And my God, because I am your child, declare I am your child. My God, I will praise you and you will see me. God, give us a song. Nita mwimbia bwana
The musicians, the, the, the singers keep quiet. You play for them that one small. Wait, Jimbie, gently. Jimbie. Meniona, yes, I'm Meniona. I'm Meniona, I'm Meniona, I'm Meniona. Yes, I am. Mamba wangu ame. Yesu wangu ame. Mamba wangu ame. Yesu wangu ame. Eh, ame niona. Ame niona. Yesu wangu. Yesu ye. It shakes foundations and breaks chains. That is power in praise. Hallelujah. It shakes foundations. You see, let me tell you how to, you, you praise. You see, the reason why the devil has put the, those chains is to stop your praise. He has said those things, generational, transgenerational curses, so that you will not praise God. But you see, when you go, when we say perfected praise, you go to God with understanding. No, no, Mambia, I'm before you, God. Hallelujah. And I know the reason we are going through this diabetes. The reason this poverty is like this in our family is because the devil's main target is that we to stop our praise. But God, I will praise you regardless. I will praise you regardless. I'll, <laughs> hallelujah. I will praise you regardless. I am before you, God. I will praise you regardless. Hey. And you praise him. The devil does not want you to praise, but you praise him. You, the devil does not want you to praise, but you praise him. It will come a point the devil will say, Nimeenda wa chana na mimi. Na kutusi ya kiendanga. Blessed be the name of the Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You will use that one in Jesus' name. Stop giving people one million shillings to break altar for you. Praise God with understanding. You see, in the middle of praise, you can get to a place and you keep quiet. And you feel in your heart. Buy a speaker for that church in the village. You do it by revelation. And you find that things are happening. Your business starts to move again. Your sister's business is resurrected. Your brother's wife comes back after seven years. Because the chains have been broken. Blessed be the name of the Lord. When you stop complaining and stop being afraid. Because fear does not attract the Holy Spirit. Fear does not attract God. It is faith that attracts God. And your faith is very, very well expressed in your praise. When, when, you, when you have faith and you start to praise, it will show that you have faith. Say my amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 25, that scripture. About midnight, Paul and hymns to God. And were listening to them. Suddenly, there was a violent earthquake and the foundations of the prison were shaken. At once, all the prison doors flew open, and everybody's chains became loose. Say, my everybody's chains. Everybody's chains. Do you believe that everybody in that prisoner was a good person? There were bad people. Just the way your family has also bad people. But you can touch the heart of God, and everybody's chains fall off. Everybody's chains fall off. They may not be good, but you can praise them into breakthrough. In Jesus' name. You got it? You got it? Psalms 149 verse 6. You write it? Psalms 149 verse 6 and 7. Put this point. Praise will cause God to revenge for me. Praise will cause God to revenge for me. Uh, 
Alléluia. It costs God to execute judgment. I read, praise, may the praise of God be in their mouths and a double-edged sword in their hands to inflict vengeance upon the nations and punishment to the people, to bind the kings with fetters, their nobles with shackles of iron, to carry out the sentence written against them, this is the glory of all his saints. Sema Amen. Let the praise of God be in your mouth. Ambia Jirani. Let the praise of God be in your mouth. Vengeance is in God's hands. Hallelujah. So here, Hallelujah. Do not struggle to pray against them because of what they have said, what they have done. They killed your mother. They killed this. God can revenge. And I tell you, people do not know this. You may have anointing, but when you use anointing to kill and to destroy, that anointing will be stagnated. Ukianza, oh, ameinoka kenyome na meme, muwe ujulikane wewe ni buwana. It is true they can die. Have you not heard that Elisha called the two bears? and killed 42 people before beginning ministry. Alianza uduma na kuwa watu 42. When he comes, he says, I'm Elijah, sit down, I want to talk to you. <laughs> Hallelujah. You can, that power is there, but that power will be stunted. You, you will not grow. The favor of God will leave you if you use the power of God to destroy people. You see? But, when people hurt you, of course you will be hurt. Niteske uchungu. God is good. But from the scripture I learned, let me not face them as my enemy. Let me praise God. Let me worship him. Let me praise him. Let me invoke his presence. God is good. Because when they're not, if they're not harming you physically, even if they're, they're planning to harm you, when the Lord is on your side, the Lord will say no. You see, God loves praise. And it is that same example that I gave you with a child. A child that is saying good things, yet the condition is bad. When it comes to hug you, you will hug them and say, Oh God, thank you for this child. So that is the way God takes somebody who is praising him. They have done bad things against you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They have done bad things. They are speaking bad things. But you say, God, I will not talk about them. Let me come and praise you. Let me come and hide myself inside you. God is good. Niko chini ya muamba. Rege. Muamba juu yangu. Yesu nifiche. Niko chini ya muamba. Ambi ya tuizangu. Niko chini ya mwamba Yesu nifiche Niko chini ya mwamba Niko, niko chini ya mwamba Mwamba juu ya mu Yesu, Yesu nifiche Niko chini ya mwamba Ambi ya duiza mu Niko chini ya mwamba Yesu nifiche Rashidi umesamehewa makosa yako yote. Hallelujah. You know the English version of that? I am under the rock. Rock is higher than now. Jehovah who is me. I am under the rock. Don't tell my enemies. I am under the rock.
go to execute judgment, vengeance over your enemy. Another point, sema at the point of breakthrough. Happened your Christo wengi wangukia. Even you, this is where you fall. I know this is where you fall. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Lord has said, go to Canaan and possess. Go to the promised land and possess. Then you come and you find that Jericho has a wall that can, six chariots can stand. You see, when six chariots, six chariots can stand in that wall, you know a chariot, this is the place where the soldier stands, and then this is a cart, Mokokoteni. And there is a horse ahead of it. And a horse is not a sheep. Horse is big. See, a place where six horses could be lined, that was the size of the walls of Jericho. Hallelujah. Even when the wall fell, it was still a wall. So this wall must have fallen and sunk to the ground. You see, God has said, Jericho is yours. Go and possess it. But you get there and there is a wall as big as this one. What do I do? God is good. <laughs> Hallelujah. And that, this, is, this one is a hindrance to most of us children of God. God, give me breakthrough. Let me tell you this. God says faith makes things possible, not easy. Faith makes things possible, not easy. That God has said it will be yours does not mean there will not be opposition. Mwajigwa. God tells them, go, worship. But Pharaoh is chasing them behind. That God has said, go and possess, does not mean that the devil, you go and possess that land. There's a devil's agent in the land's department that will seek to frustrate you. God has said that this man is your husband. <laughs> then you discover there's somebody on this side also looking at him the same way. Hallelujah. 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 You, you find that there are other people that are looking at this man. Because even when God says that this is your husband, if he's that perfect man, there are other people who will see him. I heard Pastor Maura of the Mauras saying that uh, when he approached, you, anybody know the Mauras? That music group, Yakitambo. He said that when he wanted to approach, the wife was a wonderful singer. Kaskia kama mungu kimambe huyu ni wake. Then when he went to go, I don't know, he found himself, he was the number ninth suitor. Halikuwa watisa kwa watu wamekuja kuulizia. The ninth one. Ike usifunjike moyo. You find yourself your number nine. God is good. <laughs> it shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me. Hey, take it, take it. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me. I don't care what I see. It shall be permanent because the Lord is the one who spoke it. The Lord who spoke America will make it come to pass. The Lord, do you do not need connection. You need the word of God to stay active. What the Lord has said is permanent in Jesus' name. You know, the Lord tells Abraham, look, everywhere you can see, I have given you. Abraham died and it was 400 years later that word came to pass. The Lord says, I have given you. Does not matter how few you are, how uneducated you are, how not beautiful you are. You know, when you situations, you go to the mirror and you look at yourself and you look at the one who is opposing you. When you want to disqualify. You disqualify yourself. You look at this one and that white, that, they call them Rangia Pesa lady, that white one. Will, do I stand a chance? But it shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me. It shall be permanent. Permanent. It shall be permanent. Permanent. It shall be permanent. Hey. What the Lord has done for me. It shall be permanent. 
the Lord says that that is your job. You go to the office. They look at your paper and that wicked secretary throws it into the dustbin. And I took a dustbin. They tell you to come. Stop complaining. Stop complaining. Say, God, I saw it in a vision. My father, I saw it in a dream. It is mine. No enemy shall rise. They shall come in one direction. They shall scatter in seven directions. However they come, he who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. It shall be permanent. It shall be. Claim that thing. Claim that thing that is delayed. Claim it. Claim it. Claim it. Permanent. It shall be permanent. Permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord. What the Lord has done for me. No, no, no. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be Have you heard? Yes. God is good. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I tell you a final one? I'm, I'm, you see, I put it at the final point because I don't want, to I don't want it to turn you in, in a bad way. God is good. Praise will silence your mockers in Jesus' name. Amen. Say Masifa. Inanyaman Zishanga. Wanao nidharao. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have a father that will never ever fail me. I have a father that will never ever fail me. Jesus is my father who will never ever fail me. Rodote Jesus is my You see, I'm dancing small because when David was singing this song, he came and he was jumping. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he, when he was making the moves, he was making moves. Hallelujah. When he was going down, he was going down. <laughs> Then a foolish woman comes and tells him, Daudu unajifanya aje mbelea watu. That woman died a barren woman. Hata Daudu na ufalme na roya mungu ndaniyake alishindo kupea ye mimba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, you are praying. God. You see, they are speaking those things they are speaking. They are talking hmm, ati mungu wake. Ati alienda kwa kanisa ngini anajifanyanga sasa. <laughs> alienda kwa kanisa ati ya, ati ya prophet. Ati alikuwa, watcha tuone. Watcha tuwa. The Lord will silence. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. Hallelujah. I have a father. You see, you see, what will justify, what will justify the negative they speak about you is your failure. Kile kita wa inua kifuone we kuanguka, but you have a father who never fails. You have a father who will never fail you. Hallelujah. What will justify? Tutaona. Tutaona. Mutaona wapi and my father never fails. Mutaone wapi. Yet my father never fails. Yet my father is alive. Yet the owner of the mission is alive. Wataone wapi. 
Walisikia wapi? In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is a common thing that the enemy uses. Hallelujah. They mock your God. At kinajifanya kimeokoka. At kinajifanya kimeokoka. Hallelujah. You, you wait and my daughter, vatu yungwe yako mzuri. When they, they put a windscreen on their breast to take away your man, you just dress well and praise the Father who never fails. Praise the Father who never fails. Hallelujah. God of Israel said, it is only death that shall do you apart. No matter the qualification, walienda wakasoma mpaka doctorate, wauliangukia sclase, if the Lord says that is yours, it is yours. It is yours in Jesus' name. God put that business idea into your heart. He gave you capital to start it. The enemy may arise. They may be speaking. <laughs> they may go to refresh their witch doctor thing. They go to the witch doctor coven. Waseme nipatie ingine nasikia menda kwa prophet fulani. Nipatie ingine zaidi. Wherever father that will never ever fail me. I have a father that will never ever fail me. Jesus is my father. I'm going to Jesse. I'm going to Jesse. No problem. Hey, somebody down here. I have a father that will never ever fail me. I have a father that will never ever fail me. Oh, Jesus is my father. Jesus is my father. Jesus is my father. Usiketi. Let me tell you one enemy of praise so that we praise God now. Sindio. One enemy, there are two enemies of praise. Sense, which I told you when we were beginning. Number two is what we call big manism. Big manism, you are too big to, to dance. Big manism. That is the enemy of praise. Ndo ifike, ndo ifike unafa kujiachilia. You should release yourself. Kama kwa batu nukotu unakaa kama nyani hivi. Mbele ya buwana tutafanya unguwana kwa nini. Hallelujah. Big manism. Say I'm a child of God. Before my enemy, I am big. Before the world, I am big. But before God, I am small. You cast out your crown. I'm your neighbor, cast your crown. Vuata jiyako. Vuata jiyako. I am a father that will never, ever.
kwa vita za Israeli. Somebody's chains are about to fall right now. Release yourself. Forgive Somebody's husband is calling you today. They want to come back home. Somebody, that capital you've been waiting for, that school fees is being released. Yo biashara wamekuwa mekunyamazia. Simu zinanza kulia leo. Simu zinanza kulia leo. Phone calls are coming today. Phone calls are coming today. Somebody's chains are broken. Somebody's chains are broken. Somebody's chains are broken. Somebody is going to that house that you sleep and nightmares come. And will worship there for five. You will praise for five minutes. And today, instead of nightmare, you will have revelation in Jesus' name. You will have revelation in Jesus' name. That house with the nightmare, you are going to praise there. Five minutes. God is good. 
and you're going to have revelation, not nightmare, in Jesus' name. Uh, phone calls are coming. That, call, that phone they, not call, they don't call them nowadays. It is coming in Jesus' name. I hear, I see in the spirit written, reversed demotion. There's somebody you are somewhere in life, then they put you down. God is taking you back. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You are up. They took you down. God is taking you back up. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, praise God. Praise God. Just enjoy that one. It is yours. Your prayers answered. Amejibu kwa wakati bwana. Amejibu acha ya moyo. Jamani Yesu amefanya. Amejibu maombi yangu. Amejibu maombi. Amejibu kwa wakati. Amejibu kwa Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, God does not speak sympathetic to your situation. God does not speak sympathetic to your situation. You see, he comes and calls Gideon, mighty man of valor. What God calls we shall manifest in Jesus' name. Amen. What he calls we shall manifest in Jesus' name. Amen. It shall manifest in Jesus' name. Amen. Yours too shall manifest in Jesus' name. Amen. Perfected praise into testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Tupigie bwana makofi vizuri. Haleluya! 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 It is Hosanna season. We shall praise the Lord. And today we have praised the Lord. As we come into next week, thanksgiving because testimonies will already be evident in Jesus name Amen. testimonies will be evident in Jesus name Amen. somebody take this word I'm not I'm not asking you to sow a seed I'm speaking prophetically you are entering into a season of praise Amen. God is doing it Amen. testimonies are bound Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. it is the Osana season the season of praise the season of overflow in Jesus name Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus one more time.